Okay, in this video we're going to talk about solving a trig equation, but this time we have a square involved. And so we're going to end up taking the square root in order to solve this equation, of course. You've got to get rid of the square somehow. I would start the same way I would say 3x squared minus 1 equals 0. And if I was going to solve for x, the first thing I would do is I would add 1 to both sides. So I would have 3 tangent squared of x is equal to 1. And then I would say, okay, now I need to get the square by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. That means the tangent squared of x is equal to 1 third. And now in order to get the square and take care of that, now that I've got the squared term by itself, I can take the square root of both sides. And so I'm going to do square root and square root, remembering that this thing has to be plus or minus. Plus or minus the square root of 1 third. So the tangent of x is equal to plus or minus. Now the square root of 1 over the square root of 3. I can break that up into two separate square roots if I want to. Square root of 1 is just 1. No reason to write that. The bottom is square root of 3, and that's an irrational number. I can't break that down, right? So we leave it like this. So I'm looking then for a, at an angle where if I were to put that angle in, I would get either a positive or negative value. That means I'm working in all four quadrants. So I'm going to have to draw, and this is typical when we're working with squares, I'm going to have to draw four triangles here. And what I know about those triangles is they all have the same opposite. They all have an opposite of 1 from this, and they all have the same adjacent, that is the square root of 3. 1 square root of 3, well that looks familiar, doesn't it? The hypotenuse is 2, it's a 30-60-90 triangle, and in fact I know that 30 degrees is the angle in here that I'm interested in working with. Of course, now, if all else failed, you could have at this point in time said x is equal to the arc tangent of 1 over the square root of 3, and it would have told you 30 degrees. And then you would have just said, well, I just need to adjust that and make it 30 in every single quadrant. So really, I have four answers here. The four answers that I have are 30 degrees, 180 minus, so 180 minus the 30, 30 short of it, 180 plus 30, which is 210, and 360 minus 30, which is 330 degrees. There's my four answers. Now I've got some adjustments to make. You see the instructions on this, even though they didn't say up at the top of the page, if you're using my notes, the instructions just say to solve, which means we're answering in radians, and it means that we have an infinite number of solutions. One rule of thumb is this. Now, I could list out, here are my first four solutions, but I could also go 360 plus another 30. I could start off by saying 390, and then I could go up by four, one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and I could go two rotations and up, and I could go 100 rotations, I could go 1,000 rotations. So what I need to do here is I can either list four separate answers. I could say x is 30 degrees plus every multiple of 2 pi, 150 plus multiples of 2 pi, 210 plus multiples of 2 pi, 330 plus multiples of 2 pi, or better yet is this. If you ever draw a triangle and you have a straight line, I could combine these into one answer by saying, now I'm going to start with the 30 degrees, but I notice that this one repeats itself every 180. They're straight across from each other, right? So to take care of these two solutions, the top right and the bottom left, I only have to write this. X is not 30 degrees, but pi over 6. I'm going to do it in radians. And instead of multiples of 2 pi, it goes every 180 degrees. It's just 1 pi. And then I can do the same thing with the top left and the bottom right. I can combine those. Anytime you have a straight line, I can say, then for this one, 5 pi over 6 is 150 degrees, and instead of going up by increments of 2 pi, I can take care of both of these solutions if I say it goes up in intervals of pi. So there's the solution to this problem. Let's go through and let's work the other one here. Same idea, right? I would get 4 times the sine squared of x is equal to 3. I would divide by 4, so sine squared of x is equal to 3 fourths. And if I take the square root of this side and the square root of this side, remembering that I have plus and minus on the right side, I get the sine of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 fourths. But that's the same thing as plus or minus the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. And I know what the square root of 4 is, so I'm going to go ahead and say that's plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. 
And I see square to 3, and I see, I, I, I'm noticing that's probably going to end up being a 30, 60, 90 triangle. But what I do notice along with that is that I got plus and minus. So I means I'm going to be using all four quadrants. I'm going to draw four triangles again. And what I know is this. Every one of those triangles has an opposite of square root of 3. And every single one of these triangles has a hypotenuse of 2. It turns out then the angle that I'm using inside, instead of being 30 this time, like we did on the problem on the left, the angle on the inside is 60 degrees. Of course, you could have done arc sine, and it would have told you that. So my four solutions in degrees are 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 240 degrees, and 300 degrees. There's my four answers. So I got two jobs. One, I need to convert to radians, and then two, I need to account for infinite solutions. I see these two form a straight line. So I can combine those into one answer. I can say x is equal to 60 degrees plus some multiple of 180 degrees, right? That's in degrees, so I need to convert that to radians in a second. I could say this one here is 120 degrees plus multiples of 180. But since it just says solve, we're going to answer in radians, so now I just need to convert everything to radians. So my final answer is going to be x is equal to 60 degrees is pi over 3 plus n pi or x equals 2 pi over 3 which is 120 degrees plus n pi. And there are the solutions to this problem.